Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. Today we're going to talk about toolboxes. More specifically, my toolbox. This is my day-to-day -to -day working toolbox. I don't know if you knew, but if you don't know, I'm a plumber. So I've been plumbing 34 years, 34 and a half years. So I'm a domestic plumber. I do a little bit of commercial, but I'm a domestic plumber. So I'm in and out of um, houses and places like that. So, first thing to talk about toolboxes, well, or these new thing, new trend, which is these tool bags, they look a bit like a backpack. So they have, you have like a zip that goes around, I haven't got one, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, so the new trend is for people to have these tool bags with little pockets and little bits where you put your tools. Now then, controversial, I think these tool bags have come from Sparkies because I've seen originally so a few years ago I saw Sparkies use them so now you see plumbers use them and it's, it's kind of like may, maybe it's American thing don't know but they're shit so that's my thing don't get the fucking tool bags and so if you're starting out or thinking oh well what's the tool bag all about get a toolbox not a tool bag and I'll tell you why first thing is your tool bag, it'll end up with, um, you'll never get all the tools in the little, the little bits in the, in, in, when you're taking the bag open, you never get all the tools back in the little slots, and the tools get piled into the bag, and you'll be fucking about forever trying to get your tools out. So, anyway, second thing is, if you turn up at a, someone's house with a backpack, the bloody customer's going to think, bloody hell, is this dude coming to fix my tap, or is he going to go for a hike? Oh, is he a, is he a, is he a member of the Scouts or something? It's not professional to have a backpack. So, toolbox. If I rock up with a toolbox, people know there's mean business. Well, in a fashion, because the toolbox is covered in stickers, like a kid. But anyway, that's a skateboard thing. A skateboard, skateboard is stick, stickers of, of, of everything. So, hence that. So, come on, let's get involved. Right, this, I've had a few toolboxes over the years. So, I've had plastic ones. Which, okay, so they're fairly flat, um, but they always bloody break. So I did have a metal toolbox years and years ago when I was a young man. So recently I thought, fuck it, I'm going to get a metal toolbox again. Now you could be thinking, oh dude, he's gone to some, I don't know, some some big uh, um, place where they buy expensive bloody tools. Or uh, it's going to have a name brand or, because you know what I mean, I like, my, I like quality stuff. The toolbox is from b and Warehouse. Thank you. And then I thought, well, I'll give it a go. It might fall to bits. But it's actually quite good quality. It's a cantilever toolbox. And it folds out so it's got a bottom compartment. And it's got two side compartments. The actual rivets that hold it all together. I've had this about six months. And it's actually pretty bloody good. And it's not too big. So then, next thing is, so let's have a look. Let's have a little bit of a talk about what you need if you're a domestic plumber what you need to take into Mrs. M Mrs. Blog's or Mr. Blog's house. If you're fit doing a small repair on a tap or whatever, a radiator, you don't want to take too much gear into the house because next thing is you'll be going back out to the van and getting some more gear backwards and forwards and the customer's going to be thinking, what the hell are you going to get anything done? Anyway, there is a compromise. So you've got to have just the right amount of tools to do most of the jobs. So, okay, first compartment to the top. So this is where I use more of my ma mainly my little, um, well, this is the one I go to first. I'm getting tongue tangulated. So these are my adjustable spanners. Now then, Rothenberger one. Okay, pretty good, but not that bad, not good. Oh, Baco spanner. So I've got a good Baco spanner there. Now then, if you're starting out, you're an apprentice plumber. Sorry, I've got something in my mouth. Anyway, so you need some gland pliers. So I've got two sets of gland pliers. I'll go into the other set of gland pliers in a minute. Or some people call these water pump pliers. But these are absolutely brilliant for getting onto nuts or whatever like that. So I've got a nut like that. Anyway, so gland pliers, various screwdrivers. And then I've got the, it's always good to have, don't you find it's always good to have a couple of stubby screwdrivers? Would you not agree? Yeah, anyway, stubby screwdrivers and You've always got to have some pencils and marker pens and it's not very well having a, a 
tape measure, but it's always good to have a ruler. Anyway, so I've got my pipe slices here. I've got 15 one. And I've got, check this out. This is a rigid pipe slice. You can get these online. And this one will do 22. And then it has a little click of it and you can put the, the little um, wheels down. It'll do 15 as well. It's really cool. It's quite expensive. But that's a little gadgety thing. That's quite good though. And I've got a, a 28 mil pipe slice. Don't get the plastic one. Get the metal one, because the plastic one is absolutely shit. So they sit there. Right, check out this. It's a little ratchet spanner, but I haven't got one in here actually, but anyway. I'll, you'll have to take my word for it. This is brilliant for drain offs. So this will, you can put this on a drain off and you're not messing about, because drain offs are usually a bit down the back of a boiler or whatever. So you can put this on a drain off and open it and shut it. Really good, that's a good bit of kit that I got off that of eBay, that's pretty cool. So is that the first compartment done? I think so. So, okay, let's go across to the other side. So, in here, I've got my little, little compartments with all my little... Anyway, check this out. This is brand new, this is. This is, if you've got a bolt or an M10 rod, this, and it gets um, cut funny, or it's got, you can't get a nut started, this will clean up, like, clean up it, put a bit of a chamfer on the end of the, end of the bolt. So that's pretty cool. Not used it yet, so I don't know. I'll come back to you about that. So, um, what do you call these nut drivers? Anyway, these to go on nuts, and you can put them onto your drill. So these are all little bits in here. Let's have a look in here. We've got tap sets. And we've got, oh, look, a little tile cutter. And we've got um, all sorts of different things in there. Sort of like, not used every day. So little bits and bobs in here. We've got, these are, these are pretty cool, actually. If you're a, a domestic plumber and you're starting out, you need some um, half inch caps. If you're taking a radiator off, you need them to cap the radiator off. So sometimes radiator valve pass. So half inch caps for the radiators. So that's the choice in that little compartment. Same little, if you, what's good, if, if you're gonna put in, going into a little situation where you're not messing about going to the van, it's always good to have a few screws, a few Jubilee clips, the old 15 mil compression blank end. I've got some actually um, push fit ones as well. So, all sorts of little bits and bobs. Check this out, this is awesome. Oh, this is a little uh, socket set, and it's a company called Armeg. I don't know where they're who the bloody they are, but check this out. This absolutely beautiful little socket set. So it's got a little socket there, and look at that, look at the action. Absolutely, if you need it in a tight spot, and you've got to get it to a screw, or a little bolt. Oh man, that's a beautiful bit of kit. So I've got a couple of um, punches. So what I've got here, I've got to have the old standing knife. Big adjustable one. This is just a, I, I don't know, not a, not a massively uh, expensive brand, but it'll look, jaws open really wide, you can get onto like a, nearly a 42 mil nut. Anyway, scissors, big water pump pliers. Oh, hang on, this is, this. the name of this is, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Ox, and that's the same make as that one thing. Anyway, so right, I'm going to show me age here in a little bit. Right, this is a pair of footprints. Now, you're an apprentice, you might think, what the hell's this? But when I was starting out in the late eighties, mid eighties, these were the tool to get. It's adjustable wrench, and you can get it onto pipes, or you can get it onto a nut. And it's um, what you do is it has a little um, little sort of screw there and you can see all the holes and they can adjustable so I've actually tell the truth I've actually drilled this out to go onto an immersion eater so you can put that onto an immersion eater and actually hit it with a hammer and unloose an immersion eater anyway so that's a pair of footprints now some people will say they're a load of shit and I don't like them but I like them so there we go so, Junior hacks up, always good to have. So you can't always cut the pipe with a pipe slice. A big long Phillips driver. Hang on, hang on, I've been told to get down a little bit. And what else have we got here? Right. Right. If you're a plumber, a young plumber, and you don't know about this stuff, you need to know. It's not toothpaste. It is Fernox LSX. Now the people will know, they'll know. And the people who don't know, need to know. 
So if you've got a bit of a weep on a on a compression joint or a threaded joint, and well, if I'm doing a big threaded joint like a brass one, I will put this on. So what it is, it's a high pressure silicon. I'm gonna get a bit on my finger here. So it's potable, you can use it on potable water and it will seal a thread. Imagine like a little brass thread there, you put that on there and then you put your put a mail fitting onto it. Oh, get this stuff, it's expensive, but it's it will get you out of a fix, absolutely amazing. You need LSX in your toolbox. So I put that back in, little drill bits I've got. So, right, if you're working a little bit commercially, you're working on M10 stuff, M10 nuts and stuff, you need a, definitely a 17 mm um, ratchet screw, uh, ratchet spanner. So this is Tang, that's pretty cool. And then I've got, oh, hang on, I've got a 19 mil one there. So you find a lot of like 19 mil stuff on pumps and things, and a bit, a bit more commercial, but, and if you're doing up Viking Johnson couplings on stuff like that, you're definitely gonna need a 19. So that's always good to have a 19 and a 17 ratchet spanner in there. This is a good bit of kit. If you're working in a lot of more of a commercial setting and you have like a loft hatch, that's sort of like built in and has got a locking mechanism. That's good for getting into a loft hatch because they normally have a, like a bit of a square, a bit of a cap, and you put this in and you can open it, turn it 90 degrees, and you can drop the loft hatch. Or even some um, cabinets have them as well. So, what else have we got in here? Right, here we go. This is amazing. I can go into a job and I can, I've got a torch. I've already done a video about torches. I've got my torch here. It's a Makita 10.8 torch. I've got it in my toolbox. I don't have to fuck about with my phone or go and get my torch. I've got the toolbox. I've got the torch in the toolbox. It fits in. Perfect. And also, for a little bit of drilling, look at that. I've got an amazing drill in my toolbox. It's, it's powerful enough to put in, like, even a bloody two and a half inch tent or whatever, or do some good bit of screwing. And it can even do a little bit of hammering. Put a little mace, mace it like a red plug in. So that, that is incredible. Look at that. I don't have to mess about. I've got a torch and a drill in my toolbox. Incredible. So what else have we got in the bottom? This is really important to have. A little pot of silicon grease. So if you're fixing a tap and it's all tight, you definitely need that. So that's in there. So I've got, a, well, this is a bit shitty, this little, a little tape measure. I'm gonna get another one, but it's okay. Don't worry about that. So if you're a plumber, you always need some files. So you need a good set of files if you're a plumber. So I've got a half round. And I've got a rat tail. So it's a rat tail file because if you think about if you're burning the inside of a pipe, you can get the burr. That's it. So that's that. So I've got a, let's say I wanted to get um, the olive off a pipe. I've got an olive cutter as well. So if you're a bit green and want to know what one is, if you imagine that, that um, nut is trapped onto a long bit of pipe where you can't get off, you pull the nut back and then this contraption will Ready for the click? It will cut the olive off. It, will, it says that, so hang on. It will. So it's cut the olive off. It's actually sliced the olive. So that's a good bit of kit. So in the bottom of my toolbox, I've always got a boat level. So generally use that quite a lot. The old head torch, we're in a bit of a tight spot. It's good to have, I've got my other torch, but it's always good to have a good head torch. So this is a thing of beauty. This is like um, the Rolls Royce of Allen keys. Ameri American? No, no, German company called Weira. If you look online, their stuff is quality, very expensive, but colour coded Allen keys. Superb, superb. It's always, don't use these every day, but it's always, you've got to have a set of Allen keys in your van, not in your van, in toolbox. So, what else have we got in here? We've got um, some sticks. Always, always got to have them. Um, Needle nose pliers, quite big ones. They were good to have. Um, we've got some. Um, oh yeah, where's my other one? At? Oh anyway, box spanner for doing um, monoblock taps and little um, keys for opening various um, lock shield valves and things. Oh, oh the old PTFE, you always need that bloody hell fire. Um, always good to have a bit of sandpaper. So why have I got that? So, if you're doing a bit of soldering and you need to get the end bits, you've got paint and it's really shitty, you can clean it with a bit of sandpaper. And also, I've got this um, this stuff, which is like um, cleaning um, strips. 
And they're uh, abrasive cleaning strips, so they're really good as well. They've got them in there. So, I tell you what, that's about it. So this is my toolbox, I'm a domestic plumber. So this is what I take to work and I take into most jobs, carry it into the, someone's house so I can take it into a kitchen or upstairs into a, you know, a bathroom or anywhere really. So I can do most jobs because I've got the tools to do most jobs. And if there is a specialist stuff, I go in the van, it's all in the other stuff's in the van. So thanks for watching, I hope it's been, um, well, I hope you've learned something. If you haven't, you haven't, but there we go. Okay, thank you for watching. Random is rad. Rock on.